Hello, sports fans, sports betters, and YouTube Nation. John here with Rick at Picks, coming off of a rough weekend. We got Monday, September 26th, 2022. Go Monday Night Football for your play today, Dallas versus New York. Um, more on that in a minute. I got exciting news. Patreon has changed their billing cycle, kind of. So if you guys want to jump over and join uh, my Patreon, it will now charge you on the day you joined for the month. So it doesn't do that double billing thing that it's been doing. Like if you join on the 15th, you get charged on the 15th and then again on the 1st, which I've never I've never liked that. But now if you join on the 25th, it doesn't charge you again till the next 25th. And I really like that because now it's a true month. It's a true subscription billing cycle. So if you guys want to join up over there, you're going to get one month and not get double billed for it. So Feel free to join at any time. We're going to have another great week. Had a great week last week, and then the weekend was a little rough. Dropped a little bit on Sunday. Dropped a little bit or a little bit on Saturday, a little bit on Sunday. Watched a kick go off of a goalpost on Saturday, which would have shifted us to a win. And then last night I watched Jimmy G prove to the world why nobody wants him as the quarterback of their football team. I was on the Niners' money line, which would have made that a winning day. But guess what? It wasn't because Jimmy G couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with a football if he was 10 feet from it. I watched the guy step out of the back of the end zone, throw a pick at the two. I mean, stepping out of the back of the end zone saved him four points because instead of Denver getting six, they only got two. Zoo. Zoo. You and Dan Orvlosky can join each other and go out to dinner now. And um, talk about how you guys stepped out of the back of the end zone. I mean, at least Orvlosky was being chased by someone. You just stepped out of the back of the end zone for I don't know why. But anyways, enough of that. Giants, Dallas. Last 10 games that these guys have played against each other, Dallas is 9-1. and one. Um, I know there's a lot of love for the Giants tonight. Giants are at home. Dallas has a... Ugh, their defense is just so bad at times. So bad. So bad. It's been bad for like three or four years. Well, since Mike McCarthy came in. But guess what? The Packers defense was absolutely atrocious with Mike McCarthy as their head coach. Good thing they had Aaron Rodgers because they had an offense, but their defense couldn't stop nothing. Their defense couldn't stop, I mean, nothing. They couldn't stop a broke down car from scoring a touchdown. So they'd push it across the goal line and the Packers would have been like, hey, it's right there. It's a white line. As soon as you cross it, you get points. We're, we're going to stand here. Check it out. Cowboys, kind of the same way. Mike McCarthy is their coach. Defensive game plan. A defensive guy, the guy is not. Offensive mind, ugh. It's getting kind of worse. Now they got uh, Cooper Rush as their quarterback and not Dak, so downgraded there. Um, I, I look at the QBRs for this, this game, and you got Daniel Jones, I think, 73.6, and Cooper Rush was like in the 30s or 29.6. I mean, bad. We got bad offensive teams going against each other tonight that play semi okay defense at times. I mean, the Giants are better than the Cowboys, I think. I think we're going to see a lot of Saquon Barkley because the Giants or the Cowboys have proven this year they cannot stop the run. So if the Giants come out smart, we're going to get a heavy dose of Saquon. And Saquon this year is running with a purpose. So I'm going to take the Giants based on that. I think they score more than the Cowboys and they win this game. Obviously, that's what it takes to win, score more. But, um, yeah, their team total is at 20 and a half. I think they're going to score three touchdowns in this one. I don't see why they don't. I think they're actually going to score more. Now, 39 is the total for the game. I think that's a little low. Um, usually, these two teams like to beat up on each other and score some points. And I think we're going to see some points scored tonight. So, I, I would lean over if I was, I'm not playing that. But if I did, I would lean over that. But your official play is going to be the New York football giants on the money line to get the job done. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit the subscribe button if you have not already. If you want daily sports betting advice uh, right here on this channel. Uh, I try to make videos every single day. Sometimes life gets in the way, so I don't. And that's okay because I'm all about family first. All about it. But anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching this video. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.